We're here to help you to be the greatest success that you can be and that's in the area that you want to be that great success and we're going to teach you some fundamental principles that once applied will always help you to get better results in your life. So the first thing that I want to share with you here today is that our mind works in pictures. <clears throat> so I want you to think of a house, think of a car, walk into that house in your mind's eye, walk into that house, walk in through the front door, go into the kitchen, go to the cupboard, take out a bottle of milk, take out a cup, a blue cup out of the cupboard, go over to the fridge, take out a bottle of milk, pour the bottle of milk into the cup. So every time I said a word, a picture flashed onto the screen of your mind, as in, don't think of a black sheep. Okay? Don't think of what color the carpet is in your room, okay? So every time you say a word, a picture flashes onto the screen of your mind. Why, why is that important? And the reason that's important is because our mind works in pictures. And you know, all of us want to do better in our lives. We want to get better results, okay? But in order to get better results, we must understand how we operate as a human being. And um, so now what I want you to do is, I want you to think of yourself. So even just close your eyes and just think of yourself. Now as you think of yourself, there will be a picture or an image will come to the screen of your mind. Now that picture and that image that comes to the screen of your mind whenever you think of yourself is, is the ideas and the beliefs that you have about yourself. Now that picture might be exactly what you want it to be or you might want to make that picture better, bigger, brighter, more beautiful. Now what I'm going to tell you is, is that this picture that we hold on the screen of our mind of ourselves, it's almost like a thermostat in a room or an automatic pilot on an airplane. So let me explain. You know in your house, you've got a dial and you can set the heating to 22 degrees, for example, right? And what happens is the heating, if the, if the house is cold and you set the temperature to 22 degrees, what'll happen is, is the heating will kick in, the thermostat will send a signal down the line to the boiler, the heating will kick in and the heat will raise up and it'll begin to raise up coming up to 22 degrees. As it's just coming and it hits 22 degrees, as it starts to heat up more and it begins to recognize that it's getting to 23 degrees, what'll happen is the thermostat, you know the thing that has the, the, the digits on it, will send a signal down the line to the boiler and says, getting too hot in here and it'll switch off, it'll switch off the boiler and the house will begin to cool down again. And then it'll recognize it's going down to 21 and bang, the heat will come back on again and it'll heat it back up again to 22, which is keeping it all the time in around 22. And it's given 22, it's given the same result it's given the same result because it's always given the result of 22 Celsius degrees because it's been programmed for 22 Celsius degrees. Okay, and human beings are quite similar to that. Most of us don't realize it, but we've actually been programmed. So the way that I talk, some of you might recognize if you're from the Katy area, that I have a Katy accent or an Arma accent. And wherever you're from, I know some of you are from Dublin down there, so hiya. And some of you are from Cork, so, right? And all of these words that we have automatically and the accents that we have automatically and even oftentimes the way that we walk, the way that we talk, the way that we dress and even later in your life as we used to explain to uh, budding business owners, uh, budding entrepreneurs, people that want to be recording artists or even world champions. We've even trained world champions here so we have at the hub. Now you see the thing is, is we've all been programmed. And how do we programmed is through what we see and through what we put into our mind. <clears throat> and then we get an idea of who we are ourselves. And our idea of who we are ourselves really comes from mostly from other people's ideas. So, you know, well, we're like this, this is our family, or we're like that, this is us, and this is the way it's always been. And all these ideas and language and the way that we walk and the way that we talk and even the way that we look, have been passed down and down and down and down and down and down. And from all that, oftentimes people make up the idea of who you are, or you make up the idea of who you are. But once we identify ourselves as something, you see, your mind is so powerful and so efficient. Remember when you were younger and you were learning to uh, tie your shoelaces? I can remember, it was the most bloody complicated thing ever. I thought when I was six that I would never be able to get tying the shoelaces. But I kept practicing and practicing and practicing, and then one day, bang! and now it's absolutely 100% automatic. And that's just one thing, but there's so many things in our lives, there's so many decisions that we've already made about ourselves and what we can be and what we can do and what we can have. And if you're listening to this right now, I wanna tell you is, is look, the whole wide world is completely open to you now.